So I uh, designed my own body kit. It's pretty sweet. Only trouble is, my imagination exceeds physics. So, the idea is, is to create all the assets that you need to animate. Basically, creating a mascot for the channel. So I've animated the exhaust flames, I've made tire smoke, which is absolutely ridiculously difficult to make, a mouth so it can talk. Greetings, Earthling. And this time, I've even made it blink. And once all these are completed, we can 3D print and paint it. Wait, 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 what? Where is this going? Basically, this is what manifestation looks like. When you've had a gruelling month tackling rust repairs on your absolute pile, it's good to take a week off and just have some fun. Ah, get it. So, welcome to our new Whalejaw Customs mascot. Yay! I gotta get some work done on the car, you lazy git. So I've done that bit, done, started running down here, and I run out of wire. Ah, I really enjoy myself as well. Just got to put like a plate in there, probably going to do another plate down here to just cover all of that bit there. You know, a bit more presentable without the old flux on it. But it's messy, but I can't imagine it's going to get any better. I'm welding onto shit, basically, so... You just have to keep building it up. You'll start a glob, and then just keep piling the glob on top of the glob, on top of the glob, and just work your way down. You'll be blowing holes as you go down, but you'll also be building up on your globs. Just take your time. Don't catch fire. I don't know how to get it out the end of the nozzle now, as well. I don't want to pull it out. I don't understand why. No, it's gripped on there, so you have to undo it there and it'll pull out. So my tip's doing all right. I'm quite surprised at that. I'm surprised I hadn't butchered it. Well, it's pretty good. I'm starting to wonder if I actually need this shroud. I'll take it off, but I suppose it's stopping me from burning my hands. So I think that was a good seven, eight hours worth of work. Still nothing worth filming. All right, try again tomorrow. <laughs> So after a day's healing, I got a splinter in my hip from laying on the floor. It's already started going rusty, which I'm not surprised, but new wires come, 15 quid from Jess Bezos. I just need to carry on now, weld that up, put a plate in there, probably put something in there. Let's go. So I need to put the wire into there and then that's pretty simple. Feed it in, lift that up, lock it down. That's it really. Really simple. Now obviously the first thing you need to do is trim off that bent end so that it don't bind up. Bollocks. <laughs> you absolute plonker. Well that was uh, utterly miserable. It took me about 10 minutes to fix that. Uh, I hope it's okay. I feel like it's going to jam now. Uh, that gave me like nightmares of 3D printing, that did. So after another 20 minutes, I've literally lost the will to weld. We've got a knot. So I've got some spool half of my wire, 
this is utterly miserable. And it's all because they couldn't taper that hole there. It's like trying to thread a needle where the cable wants to bend in every other direction but that hole. If there was just a tapered hole, it would guide itself in, but now, another Chinese torture device. So, let's cut that, waste all my wire. There's at least 20 p's worth of wastage there. I'm not happy. Shall we have a go? Yeah, another knot. Lovely. How to waste all your wire. I think we've got it. So not too much wastage, but I'll find a use for it. <laughs> Every penny counts, as they say. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pill her down from my hip this time as well. My hip's destroyed from laying sideways on the floor and pushing against the top, you know what I mean? So, hip pillar. So, I guess we're gonna carry on welding this bit, and then we'll probably move on to that. So, that's the weld anyway. It ain't pretty, but it seems silly, I'll never know. What? You filmed it for YouTube? Literally everyone knows now. Structural. <laughs> it does the job, so. Let's do that bit. Let's pick up the pace. So it's as simple as that, really. Bit of a curved pipe. Push it against that to bend it. Stick it in. I'm probably going to fold that flap over up onto that, you know what I mean? So I've got like a double layer of strength. Bit of a nick in the end there, so that it'll all kind of more metal the better basically something to weld to that's what I'm thinking yeah. let's go I've got a lot cleaner now at least made this area here a lot cleaner it was difficult to get but it should be alright we've got all this area here to like have something decent to weld to aren't we so I'll figure it out so there we are hot tip get yourself a like it helps massively. Well, it's messy, but obviously it's hard work trying to weld against it, but she's on there. Just need to bend that flat right in there. That's come out really nice, that. That should be lovely to weld that now. There we are. Decided to like tack weld it this time just bang 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 rather than trying to do a nice line To guarantee that I don't blow through it basically. That's come out pretty good. I think To me, it looks like the weld wire was made of spaghetti. Yeesh It's structural Need to make a plate for here next oh, I tell you what though, my neck is absolutely destroyed. Oh my god it's like this all the time. Oh my god. The neck muscle there. It's tea break, I think. It's all finished now. Huh? Kind of looks pretty cool, really, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Oh yeah, baby. Can't wait to get some paint on that. I do believe. But it's finished. Thank you. God, I only got to do the same thing on the other side now, which means two days of grueling labour. But at least I'll be sat on the other hip, because it's kid. Stay away from that mountain. I'd say she's pretty spanked. That was uh, really big before, it's not anymore. <laughs> I didn't even realise they ran out. Well, I'm gonna say, I don't think I need to repair this. It all seems good. Everything's solid. We had a big hole there before. Had a big hole in there. There it was there. This, I don't have to rebuild. That's a godsend. Look at the mess it made there. Look at that mess there. Ridiculous. Painted that and everything. I've just realised where all the splinters are coming from. Coming from this damn thing. I keep picking them out my side and my hips and everywhere.
I was stuck in my jump. Not fun. So I've been using one of these instead. A nylon cookie wheel. Biscuit wheel, I don't know. It's pretty good. It's not as quick, but not as miserable. Which I look like Swiss cheese now. I'm very happy now I have to weld that with the side. Well, slap a bit of paint on there, I think. This is absolutely covered. This is killing my elbows to film as well. Just need to chuck some paint on it now. I'm gonna paint up to that like wall there where them pipes are. And paint it, and then it like clears this section, which means we can put the petrol tank back in. And we can actually turn the car around so I can do some actual good CGI. Hey bombs. I swear to God. The sun has never irritated me so much in my life. Look at the white balance on that. I'm using an entire board to block. And I still can't see anything. Can't really tell, can you? <laughs> it's literally the hardest thing to film in the world. It's just a black mess. But yeah, she's all painted up, mate. Up to like that bit there, the tunnel. Which is acceptable. We can now start thinking about putting everything back. Finally. I'm so happy that's going back in, honestly. But we need to let the paint dry, so it's looking like tool up, come back tomorrow. So after six episodes and five weeks, we can make a start on building a drift car. Finally. Uh, don't you need to do my front half as well? Fuck, I forgot about that.